Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm starting a new series on my channel. I didn't create it. Um, actually, I was inspired to do this by Love Heatherette, and it's just death. It's kind of a combination of projects they're doing, but I'm calling this Palettes on the Chopping Block. So, I would like my goal with this is to declutter, but you guys might know if you watch my other videos, I don't really like decluttering. I only declutter things like if they're actually like, you know, too old to use anymore. Or if they're like duplicates that I can pass on to someone else. Um, I don't just declutter like just to declutter, you know. So I thought this series would allow me to try out these palettes before I declutter them. But basically what I did, I just have like a box here. I chose 10 palettes from my collection that I would consider decluttering. But the rule is I have to try them at least once before I make a decision. And I already started this project because as you can imagine, like it's gonna take me a while to use 10 palettes. Um, but I've already used three three of them yeah so i think in this first video well i'll show you the palettes that i chose but then i'll choose like three other ones so i'm always gonna have 10 palettes in this box i think that makes sense oh and by the way when i choose the one to use for the day i roll randomly a number between one and ten which makes it like more fun so um, this first one here is from Studio Makeup and it's called the On The Go Eyeshadow Palette, I guess. Um, I got this in a BoxyCharm many years ago. It's actually one of the oldest palettes in my collection and I always kept it around because it has really great quality. But I just don't know if this is my kind of color story anymore. I don't feel like these cool tones always look good on me. So I want to try this one again before I declutter it. So this is one I haven't tried yet. Um, obviously I've used it before, but I don't remember how I feel about it to be honest. So that's one of them. The next one, this is the only palette in this box that I didn't get from BoxyCharm that I actually bought myself. Well, I buy my own BoxyCharm, but you know what I mean. Um, this is actually from Kylie Cosmetics. This is another one of my oldest palettes in my collection, and it's the Burgundy palette. It looks like this. So this color story is more um, up my alley, but... I remember not really liking the mattes in this palette, but again, I don't really remember. So I'm gonna try this again, but it really has to like blow me away if I keep this because this is like her her old palettes like before she rebranded. So it, I don't even feel like it's relevant anymore and I don't buy Kylie Cosmetics anymore. So I don't know. We'll have to see, but it, again, it has to really like blow me away. <laughs> this one is one that I have tried since selecting it. It's the Crown Pro Glam Metals palette, and it looks like this. It has a really fun guitar shaped mirror, and it's just a very nice grungy palette. The only thing that bugs me a little about this is there's only one matte in the palette, and it's a black. So you're always going to get like a grungy, dark look with this, but that is kind of the theme of this palette and that's why I really like it actually. So when I used it, I was actually wearing this look in a video in my part two of my haul video. I used all three of these shades here and I really loved it. I loved the experience of it. I loved the blend. I could pick the shimmers up with a brush, so for that reason, I'm keeping this one because I just like that the theme of this is really going to reflect what kind of look you get out of it. Like after I did that look, I felt very like glam rock kind of, so I like this one. 
So that's one that I'll put back in my collection. I have to change my battery, so I might look a little different. I really hate when that happens, because then I have to take the whole camera off, the tripod, ugh, the whole thing. <laughs> anyway, and apparently I just charged this battery and it's already dying. What is happening? Okay, <laughs> now I'm back. So what happened is I put the battery in the charging thing, but I never actually plugged it in. So yeah, thankfully I actually have three camera batteries, so I'm on my third one now. Anyway, sidetrack. This next palette is a palette I've never used before. It's from Laura Lee Los Angeles and it's the Party Animal palette. So this one is in here, first of all, because I never reach for it. I used to keep this around because at the time, the, this was like the only colorful palette that I owned. Um, and it's still like one of the only neon color palettes that I own. But, like, this is not a palette that calls to me because I don't feel like I have a full look that I can do. Like, if I use this palette, it's just going to be colorful. Like, no neutrals or, like, any transition shades to ground my look. So, that's why this is in here. Also, because I don't think this palette even exists anymore. And this is before Laura Lee rebranded also so it's not even really relevant to keep around for talking about in videos but i do love me a good orange and a yellow but i've also heard that this palette is not good so <laughs> i have to try it for myself and there's three mattes and three shimmers so yeah we'll see about this one i haven't gotten around to it yet this one is a palette I'm going to be decluttering. It's also from Crown Pro, and I'm really glad that I happened to try out these two palettes, like one after another, because if I would have tried this first, I would have been like, oh, I really like the Crown Pro formula. I'm going to keep this one. But this is a different formula. So it's even like different pan shapes. They're in square pans. This again is a color story that I really like, but the shimmers in this one are just super thin and dusty and they all kind of blend together like i don't even feel even looking at this a lot of the colors are so similar to each other that you're really gonna get like one look out of this palette which is like you know a rosy mauve which is you know kind of trendy right now but i just feel like i have better quality shadows in my collection so I don't need to keep this one around but I'm pretty sure a friend will like this I didn't hate it but I just like like I said I feel like I have better in my collection and that's the point of this video you know I really want to get more use out of my palettes but if I keep around all these old ones that I don't even know if I like it's not gonna happen so Yes, this one is a declutter, and I believe this is actually a declutter from my mom that came in one of her boxy charms, and she gave to me. So now I'm decluttering it again. But yeah, so I'm not. I can't give it back to her. I'll have to find someone else that wants it. This one is a boxy charm palette. It's called Hello Charmer. I honestly love how this palette looks. It has some really fun like shimmery shades and a nice range of colors but I never reach for it and I've also heard that the quality of this one is not good but that might just be people mad about getting a boxycharm brand in their boxycharm you know what I mean so I have to try it for myself again sorry the windows open and someone's playing basketball um, yeah, so I don't know anything about this. I've barely even touched it. It looks like I've touched some of these, but I, I don't know. I would have just swatched them. So, yes, I want to get around to this one. This one is a ColourPop palette, the Semi Precious Shadow palette. I believe this is like their failed attempt of being sold at Sephora, if you guys remember that. It was like really weird and lasted like 
not even a month I feel maybe more but it just felt like it came and went but this actually came from my mom again from a boxycharm declutter <laughs> and it looks like this this one is an all shimmer palette and they're all pretty like bold shimmers well maybe not this is actually very similar to the palette I'm wearing today, which I love and I'm not decluttering. But anyway, I want to try this one. I haven't heard good things about it either, which is why it's in this box. But these are colors that I like. It's just a matter of, you know, using them together. By the way, I didn't mention another rule that I put for myself is when I use the palettes, I can only use the palette. Like, I can't go go and get mattes from another palette because then it's like, you know, there's no point. Like, yes, I can make any palette work if I use multiples, you know? So this one, another one I need to get to. Same with this Butter London palette. This one I think is in here for the color story. I do love these four shades. This is basically Natasha Denona mini retro vibes, but then you bring in this weird blue and like a basic brown that I have in every palette. So I don't know how I feel about this one. And this blue is one of the two mattes, so, and I don't feel like it goes with these colors. I don't know. But again, I might try this and love it, so I'm going to test this one out. Then I have this little trio from IBY, I think is how you say it, IBY Beauty. This is one of the oldest palettes in my collection, one of the first things I received in BoxyCharm. And I used to love this, as you can see it's well used compared to other things I own. Um, and this one does like a really great simple look. You have this one matte and then these two are shimmers. Um, I just like don't really reach for it. But I, I do think the quality is really good on this one. But also what's influencing me is that I just received, well I didn't receive it, I bought it. <laughs> the, the Sephora favorite set, which you would have seen in my Sephora haul. It came with the Baby Biba palette from Natasha Denona, which is kind of similar to this. And I much prefer, you know, having a Natasha Denona palette that's more relevant to talk about in videos also. So that's why this one is in here. But I do remember loving this. Um, so we'll have to try it out again and get some updated thoughts on this. Then this is the palette I'm wearing today and I'm keeping it because it is beautiful and it's just like a random boxycharm collab palette with the brand Blink but th these shades are like high-end performing amazing shades. So I did this look today with only shadows in this palette and it is an all shimmer palette and even so, I loved it anyway. And I just feel like this is a look that I've done with the ABH Jackie Ina palette and that's one of my favorite palettes. So I think it's very comparable. And I did this only with brushes. Like, can you see how like foily and metallic that is? I didn't even use my fingers. So I love the formula of this. I feel like if I would have told you this is a Pat McGrath palette, you would have believed me. So for that reason, definitely keeping this one around, but putting back in my collection. So now I only have seven palettes in my box and I want to have 10 to choose from. So I'm going to pick three more palettes that I could consider decluttering and I'll be back to show you those ones. Okay, so I chose my three palettes and they're actually all from Pure <laughs> Cosmetics. So again, these all came from BoxyCharm. So clearly it's easier for me to declutter things that I didn't actually choose to buy myself and that, you know, just came to me randomly. So the first one I have here 
is a BoxyCharm Pure Collab. This was in my Pando's Eyeshadows project. And I did really like the shadow that I was panning, which was this one, Belle. Um, and I did like the looks that I did with this palette, but I just feel like it's very similar to the other two I'm about to show you. And I don't know if I need to keep so many pure palettes in my collection that I don't even know if you can get anymore. I'm, well, I'm sure you can't get this one because it was BoxyCharm exclusive. But yeah, so this edition <laughs> is kind of like testing all my pure palettes and comparing them to each other and seeing if I need to keep all of them because they're all pretty similar color stories as you'll see. So this one was the BoxyCharm Loves Pure, I guess it's called. Then I have the Festival palette, which looks like this. Another like neutral with pop of pink and purple and two press glitters, which I don't touch because they're terrifying. They are very thick and sticky and are very hard to take off. But I did like the look that I did with this palette. I just like never reached for it again. So this is another one I want to test out. And then the Festival 2.0, which is like, why they even bother? Because look how similar the two, the first one and the second one. I mean, there's so many similar colors. Why? I don't know. <laughs> Maybe this one is that instead of a purple, well, it still has a purple. I was gonna say instead of purple, it has blue, but it still has purple. It just has additional blue shadows. So again, this one I don't think I've ever even touched. Like this looks brand new. So yeah, let's try this. The thing about pure palettes is I never reach for them, but when I do, like if they get pulled into a Shop My Stash or a Pando's Eyeshadows, I end up really liking them and they smell really good. They smell like vanilla cake or something. So yeah, they usually get me. So I'm going to try those as well. And now I have 10 palettes back in my box again. So I think I'll just keep going with this um, project, I guess, series. This has actually been really motivating for me to actually put makeup on too, because it's kind of like a fun test, um, like a science experiment or something. So I'm going to keep going with this and I guess I'll update you probably like every month and see where we're at and keep like rolling things out and see what happens. But so far I've only decluttered one palette so I guess I'm not doing that great. But one of three so one third. Yeah. So anyway, I hope you like this video and if you like the idea of this series, give it a like. Subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!